Distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is already 1.20. We are all getting late for the lunch. I will keep it brief. Don't help it. It's a legacy yeah. given to us. So, <laughs> one thing, I, I, I'm sure we have not forgotten the days when we had uh, 10 hours, 12 hours of power cut. It is just, I think, about 10 years back we used to have that. Government of India took reform initiative and in the power generation, a lot of investment has taken place. But in last two years we have seen now, this investment is also getting, I mean, investors are shying off from the in power sector, mainly because of the coal. Power utilities, both in private sector and government sector, have made a lot of investment in the sector. And these generating companies are not getting enough coal to operate at the minimum level of 85%, which has been prescribed by the regulator to recover the fixed cost. If they don't recover the fixed cost, they will not be able to serve the debt which they have taken from the banks. It's a, going to be a very, very, very big issue for the sector. I think we had one power plant in the country, double. Government, it was a big challenge before the government of India to restructure that. That does not create many more doubles in the country. We need to have coal for at least 85% generation level to serve the investment, to serve the loan which we have borrowed from the banks. E-auction was another issue which was discussed. We have no issues with e-auction of coal, but that should be utilized to incentivize coal companies to increase the production. Whatever commitment they have made at the beginning of the year, today, this year, they made a commitment of 347 million ton of coal for the power sector. Let them supply 347 million ton and any production beyond that, let them do under e-auction. We have no problem. But the issue is, what they do, they set a target for e-auction, do that e-auction first, and whatever is left, that is supplied to the power sector. These kind of mechanisms should be used, utilized to incentivize more production. But it is other way, to incentivize more profit for the for coal utilities. So that is another issue. People are talking about uh, import of coal. Yes, maybe 5 to 10 percent can be done. But uh, in NDPC, we have seen we have been importing almost about 10 percent of coal. And in last one year, almost all state electricity boards have raised a hue and cry. There is increase in the variable cost. and. Uh, Last year, I think, country, we imported about 25 million ton of coal in the power sector. The impact of that was 15,000 crore rupees extra money just for importing it, extra over the domestic coal price. By 2017, if we have to import 200 million ton of coal, that is what the projections are, it is going to be 1 lakh thousand crore rupees extra over the domestic price. Can we really afford this kind of high cost? That is something which we have to see. So, coal mining, yes, I mean, in NTPC, we have been allocated few coal mines. We have seen the test of the coal mine. It is not very good. Uh, the issue, one of the most uh, important issue is the land acquisition. And uh, land acquisition takes a lot of time. One thing what we have seen, that the state government do not have interest in the giving the land they probably are not getting enough out of the coal mining. So we have to maybe increase the royalty level so that the interest of the state government is there, they cooperate, they come forward to help the coal companies to expedite the process of land acquisition because that takes a lot of time. We have ourselves seen it. It takes almost about six, seven years to complete this process. These are the few things I wanted to mention. Thank you.